Our second speaker this morning is Mike Slattery. Mike wonders if this year's life's challenges have been a consequence for his past life or for his present life's action. He believes in karma, and he's beginning to believe that this time in his life, all of the bad karma he ever passed along is coming back <laughs> to haunt him. This year has been a disaster. Mike has had more things go wrong or break in the past nine months than any time in his life. Mike's theme today is hope for the best, expect the worst. His speech is 79 minutes. Please join me in welcoming our second speaker, Mike Slattery. Thank you, Bob. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, most wanted guests. Expect the unexpected. As a quote from Mel Brooks' movie, The Twelve Chairs, hope for the best, expect the worst. The world's a stage where unrehearsed, some reach the top while others drop. Hope for the best, expect the worst. <coughs> March 27th. This year was a Friday morning. 6.30, my smoke alarm goes off in my house. I wake up, I get out of bed, I put my feet into two inches of water. <laughs> well, to take a minute to think what is going on, I run out of my bedroom and I end the hallway and I look down on the stairways and the water is cascading down like the waterfalls of Splash Mountain in Disneyland. I'm saying, holy mackerel. So I run downstairs, I walk, run outside, and I turn the water off, and you gotta realize that I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't care. I had to shut the water off. So I go back inside and I look into our family room and the ceiling has fallen down. Water is dripping down onto the floor. And the reason the smoke alarm was going off was because the water was coming out of the smoke alarm, shorting the circuit, and that's what created the smoke alarm to go off. Well, I gather my thoughts. <clears throat> Speak to my wife, we call in the claim. And by golly, it was just like the fire department. Two big trucks from Service Master show up in front. Five guys get out, they have more equipment they're bringing in the house, they dehumidifiers, fans, and a vacuum to vacuum up the water. In the meantime, we're trying to figure out where do we go from here? Like I said, we made the claim, and the claims adjuster calls us back and says, this evening you're going to be staying at the Hyatt Place in downtown Riverside three months. And I'm thinking to myself, holy cow, I'm being ripped out of my house, I'm going to be down in a hotel, and my whole life has changed, as has my family. So in the meantime, these gentlemen start drilling holes in the wall and all along the baseboard and they're bringing in these hoses that suck the water out and put it into my sink. Now it is absolutely amazing because my life at this point in time was pretty steady and it was sort of habitual. Now, because of this, the rug gets pulled out from under your whole lifestyle changes. So, we move into the Hyatt place, and in the meantime, the same company comes in and packs everything we own up and takes it to storage. And I mean everything. Every piece of furniture, every knife and fork, everything is taken and put in the story. <coughs> and they told us at the time, if there's something of value, take it with you. So, 
gentlemen, I'm speaking to gentlemen, <laughs> your wives have things of value you don't know about. <laughs> and when you have to pack it into the car and you look at it, what is this? Well, this is something that we had that I had when I was in the fourth grade, and I had to keep it so that I could have the memory. Oh, my, and it just takes up space. Two and a half months later, everything is finished. New carpeting, new flooring, new paint. Oh, it, it, it was amazing what they did. It was just like having your own home totally remodeled. We move in, everything is fine. The following month of July, about the second week, I flush the toilet and I hear, <laughs> what was that? So it stops running and I hit it again. Well, I called my plumber friend and he said, how old are your toilets? I said, well, they were when the house was built, 22, 23 years old. He said, you need to put all new stuff in the tank. Because if you don't, you're going to have the same problem you did before. It's going to rattle the pipes and it may break. Oh. So off to Lowe's I go. I buy all the innards. I put it back in. Flush the toilet. works just fine. Two weeks later, downstairs bathroom. Flush that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> all over again. So I already know what to do. Off the lows again. Get all the stuff, put it in a toilet that works just fine. Whew. Everything is okay now. And in the meantime, we are unpacking all the packed boxes that we had stored and putting it away in the house. I come home in August drive up the driveway, and I look underneath our second car, and it's bleeding. <laughs> Here is this pool of look like red blood under my car, and I know that it's made of steel, and I know that that doesn't bleed. So I get down on my knees, and I put my finger on it to pick it up, transmission fluid. Oh, call my mechanic or Everybody says it's like a doctor, you got a mechanic. <coughs> Jose Ieni Zoto from Argentina and probably the most particular, meticulous mechanic I've ever met in my life. Put it on a tow truck, get it over here and we'll fix it. Put it on a tow truck, took it over there, he fixed it. After I talked to him, I said, help me, Lord Jesus. What's next? I go to bed that night and I hear a voice that says, I expect the unexpected. <laughs> so, last week I come home and I'm told by my stepson that our ice maker and our two year old new refrigerator is falling down into the ice tray. <laughs> and I'm by this time living. So I open up the freezer, we have a drawer freezer, and there it is. The whole machine is just plopped down into the ice tray, and the only thing that's holding it in is the wires that make it work in the hose that the water comes into. So I snipped it off, took it out, <laughs> and uh, I called the uh, Samsung people. They're going to come out and put a new one in. And uh, I just, uh, I just can't believe what has happened. So since March of this year until November, I now hope for the best. I expect the worst. 
Some of us drink champagne, some of us will die of thirst. There's no way of knowing which way it's going, so I now hope for the best and expect the worst. <laughs>